Central Florida Lewy Body serves people living with Lewy Body dementia. Support, education, and resources are available both for care partners and those with the diagnosis of Lewy Body. Sue Bowder, the executive director of Central Florida Lewy Body, is here today to speak to the unique needs of people with Lewy Body. And welcome, Sue. We were just chatting about this. It's one of those diseases that you may have kind of briefly heard in a discussion, but you weren't quite sure how that's involved in that umbrella of dementia, Alzheimer's, all memory mm -hmm. situations. So can you briefly tell us just what is involved? Sure. Lewy body dementia is actually the second leading cause for dementia. And many people, even many healthcare professionals are not familiar with it. So Central Florida Lewy body has a, a big commitment to not only serving those who are living the experience, but those who are caring for the experience as well, really bringing education. So typically people equate Alzheimer's with dementia. They'll use those terms um, interchangeably and they actually are quite, they're different. Alzheimer's is the leading cause for dementia, dementia is like an umbrella term where there, it describes the various changes um, for cognition, for, uh, for memory, for communication. So if you imagine that the handle is, um, you know, the, the reason that you have dementia. So Alzheimer's is not uh, the only form of dementia, it is the, the first. So then you can look at that handle of the umbrella and realize that, that Lewy body is the second leading cause. And it is actually quite different. May I share with mm -hmm. you some of, the, sure. some of the characteristics that are different? So with Alzheimer's, you typically think memory, right? You're gonna initially see that there, there's memory loss. Um, not necessarily so with Lewy body dementia, that you're going to instead see uh, changes in, um, in the ability to do planning, sequential thought, um, multitasking, very difficult, focus and attention, difficult. You also will see Parkinson-like symptoms where uh, people have muscle rigidity, and stiffness, there's a shuffling gait like Parkinson's, a hunched posture, um, and, but there is in addition, the, the kinds of symptoms that are very uniquely Lewy body dementia are REM sleep disorder, and people will often say that for years they were having changes with their, um, with their sleep patterns. What happens is for most of us, the healthy brain knows how to shut down the body, paralyze the body during the sleep cycle. But for Lewy body, that mechanism is broken. And so uh, people will act out their dreams. And so they kick and they punch, they fall out of bed, they injure themselves and they injure their bed partners. Another, uh, the common characteristic for almost all people with Lewy body um, are, it would, is called um, their halluc visual hallucinations and, um, and delusions. So that is very, very different from Alzheimer's. There may be delusion-like behavior way later for Alzheimer's, but that can be a very early experience where people will say that they see little animals or children over in the corner of the room. They'll say, who is, who is this that's here with us? Yeah, that is, that's very different than the, mm -hmm. oh gosh, I can't find my keys. Exactly. Or why did I walk exactly. into the kitchen? That's right. Yeah, and now if someone is diagnosed, diagnosed with Lewy body, we have uh, you know, a spouse that gets the diagnosis, where do we turn to your group? How do you specifically help these folks? Sure, well, our website is CF Lewy body, Central Florida, cflewybody.org. Uh, Though we're Central Florida, we actually serve people from around the state because of Zoom. We have our support and education groups on Zoom. Uh, people can also be in touch with me personally. I am not only the executive director of Central Florida Lewy body, but I also am the, the facilitator for the support and education groups. Um, so they could reach out to me at sue at cflewybody.org. Um, 
please feel free to request a, um, a phone con you know, conversation with me. I often talk with people individually when they're trying to decide whether this might be a, a support option for, for them. And one of right. the unique things about us is that we are offering support to both care partners and those with the diagnosis. Because I think that sometimes makes us unique. that's so frightening when you are the caregiver, the spouse, the child who mm -hmm. has seen their, their parent or mm -hmm. their spouse in that situation. You've also brought some great, you know, yes, information. I, exactly. I wanted for folks to know about um, this NIH uh, booklet that's available free going on to um, NIH nih.gov. You can also request the National Lewy Body Association. We do not have regional chapters like Alzheimer's Association, but the National Lewy Body Asso Association, I urge people to go on and educate through their website or through NIH uh, website. The, uh, for LBDA, you can um, actually request a, a care, care partner um, booklet, a, a whole packet of information, uh, as well as they have uh, specific packets of education for healthcare professionals that that can be requested as well. Those are all free. Right, That's and we'll obviously, obviously, we'll have all of that information right. coming up after right. after this segment. Right. Mm -hmm. All of those websites, the phone numbers. Yes. It's Perfect. such great information, Perfect. and it is so surprising to discover that Lewy body is the second leading cause of dementia. Thanks for introducing us to that image of the dementia umbrella. That is a huge help and illuminating the unique characteristics and needs of those affected by Lewy body dementia. Reaching out for support and education can truly make all of the difference in navigating this challenging dementia journey. Great information. Thanks for being here. <music>